Here we go, 30 foot journey ahead. First bath, getting ready to slide. Meet Breddy, about to begin an incredible journey through 30 feet of digestive tract. Estimated travel time. The tongue flips our snack back and the epiglottis snaps down like a trap door to guard the windpipe. Breddy enters the esophagus. This muscular tube squeezes in rhythmic waves called peristalsis, moving him along at about three. Whoa. Hot, hot, this battery acid. Turn cycle one, Whoa. cycle two. Stop spinning me. Cycle three complete. Target acquired, protein detected. Forks out, lice and dice. Hey, get off me. Nom, nom, nom. Breaking bonds. Inside the stomach, its walls are coated with a thick, glistening layer of mucus that protects the tissue from the strong acid below. A piece of bread arrives and begins to break apart, the enzymes and acid turning it into a smooth, soupy mixture. Mmm, still chunky. Keep it moving. All right, texture's looking smooth now. Liquid enough. Gate opening, proceed to the intestines. From the pancreas, a cocktail of enzymes is released. Lipase, amylase, and protease. Each has a special job. The gallbladder joins in, squirting green bile that breaks big fat globules into tiny droplets, making them easier to handle. Lipase chops fat. The inner wall of the small intestine is covered with millions of tiny, finger-like villi. Each one sways through the chyme, collecting nutrients. From broken down bread, glucose and amino acids move... Inside the jejunum, the middle stretch of the small intestine, the lining is covered with tiny villi and even tinier microvilli that massively expand the surface area. Here, sugars like glucose slip through transporters into blood capillaries. And there it goes, the ileocecal valve opening up. Hi, Freddy. Whoa, a whole neighborhood of bacteria. Fiber buffets, ready. They're breaking down cellulose I couldn't handle. And those bubbles? They're making vitamins K and B while they ferment. All 100 trillion of us say... In the colon, water is drawn back into the body, about a liter and a half every day. As the water leaves, the once soft mixture becomes denser, packing into solid waste. A slick layer of mucus is added. Those tiny bubbles? They're methane and hydrogen made by your gut's hardworking bacteria. On average, they send gas out about 14 times a day, and that's completely normal. As good bacteria multiply, they keep troublemakers in check, while immune... Within the sigmoid colon, smooth muscle rings generate a coordinated peristaltic wave. The wave needs the semi-solid stool forward, compressing and elongating it. As the mass advances, bilirubin pigments from bile darken the material from tan to a red-brown shade. Stretch receptors in the rectum send a message up to the brain. We're full. The brain checks, bathroom nearby? Yep, decision made. It tells the internal anal sphincter to relax while the external one holds the line until it's safe. When it's go time, the external...